Okay, everybody. So what we want to do is show you how to increase the value of your Star Wars uh, collectibles. So if you're a Star Wars collector, and a lot of people are out there, like Aaron is right now, clearly you want your collectibles to increase in value. Well, we've actually got a way right now to show you how you can get your Star Wars collectibles and boost their value. It's going to happen live on screen. Now, for those who are watching this, uh, this is part of a live show. So there are comments coming up. From people who are watching right now so uh so don't be surprised when names and and, uh, and comments come up along at the bottom but i'm going to pass this over to aaron who's going to show you right now on screen live as we speak how to increase the value of your star wars collectibles mr aaron over to you well a lot of times um with star wars collectibles the the value depends on the condition uh what they are the trends in the marketplace but with star wars it's always popular so um, often if you've got something that's good and in good condition, if you leave it like that, it will slowly uh, go up in value. And what I have here is an episode one Nabo, Nabu fighter mint in box, bought it in 1999, never been opened, still sealed. Now this has been kicking around in my collection for, what is it now, 22 years since episode one came out. And do you know how much it's got up in value? Well, Nothing. you can just about get what it came out at in the 90s. So I thought with the events of the recent episode of the book of Boba Fett, we can do something to improve the value of this mint in box collection. And all we're going to need is Sharpie pens, sticky tape, and maybe scissors. Because what I've got here is a Mandalorian um action figure which were also just on special in zing so i picked up a couple of those and if we get the scissors and we cut the mandalorian logo off as one should <laughs> you can see instantly the price of these collectibles are going up straight away so and then we can get the logo that we've just cut off if i could see it and we can stick it to the box. But first, we've got to modify the box because the Nabu fighter does not appear like this in the Book of Boba Fett. And obviously, if you want a Book of Boba Fett one, you've got to change some things. So this is where the Sharpies come in because there's, I don't know, uh, is it Captain Typhoon or just the Nabu pilot? But he isn't in it. So let's give... Yeah. Love it. Nicely done. Keep within the lines. Yep. Just move a bit more Great. to your left, dude. So we've given it, um, I guess, sorry, we've given it a um, a blast shield so you can't see the, the crappy episode one figure that's in there. And I knew this would happen. My Sharpies are not as sharp as I thought they'd be. But the other thing about the Nabu fighter that no one likes is their can canary yellow, much like the Australian cricket team's uniforms. Um, and what we can do to improve this is kind of, Put on some panelling, make it look like it's come straight out of the workshop. Move a bit to the left, mate. Thank you. Sorry, mate. And we've got to get rid of the R2. Yep. He's got to go. Because that's, yeah, that's where, where Grogu's we're... going to sit. Yep. Grogu and possibly bounties. So we can <laughs> custom, <laughs> custom the box so it's more in line with the the Mandalorian. Now, I don't know if people out there can see this, but the value of this collectible is going up even as we speak. It, we need, it's like um, it's like that segment on The Price is Right, where you've got the little guy who's going up the mountain yodeling as the um, the price goes higher and higher on this um, special collectible. So the thing that really kills the product price on this is, is Darth Maul and Episode 1. So we want to try and cover that up. So <laughs> hold on with me here. Oh, we lost him. Him. Hey. There we go. Sorry. As you can see, we rehearsed this earlier. <laughs> well, I didn't want to modify and increase too many of my toys, so we're just doing it once live on screen. Now, I don't know about you fans, but I'm seeing the value and I'm feeling the collectability of this uh, skyrocket. And this is a one-off item, don't forget. And this will be this will be available in the shop. So it's no longer a Star Wars episode one thing. It's like a Mandalorian exclusive. We'll just get rid of We'll just yeah, you don't it. need that. Yeah, that episode one thing's all out of date now. So, yep, yep, yep. And you know what we're going to do with this that, that that even Hasbro and Kenner don't do? 
we're going to include the figure as the pilot that goes with it. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick it to the stick it to the actual box. <laughs> going to rip it off the card convention exclusive one of one. Get Christopher Eccleston to sign it. <laughs> oh god. You're seeing it here first. You'll see fans, you are seeing it here first. We are personally increasing the value of this dodgy creep piece of crap that nobody wanted 23 years ago, but now so it is suddenly a hot item. I've stuck that to the box and we've got a we've got to change, I guess, the we've got to change the title of it because it's not a Navu fighter. It's, it's an N1. It's, it's, it's the Razor Crest Mark II. I can't that doesn't fit. Let's just um just write it smaller. <laughs> N1. 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 And, okay. N1. Yeah. and we've got to put in, includes Mandalorian. I'll just put Mando because I'm I'm lazy. And yeah. then an arrow to the Mandalorian. Yeah. <laughs> so I think when we started this um this boxed vehicle, which is still sealed, um was probably worth about $49 and I reckon it is now worth at least $99. So there you go. How to double the price of one of your collectibles in about five minutes. What um, do you think? So Carol's updated the bid to $1.79 and don't forget, yes, it is $19.99 air that's inside there. So it's absolutely fantastic. And Mark has already said that goes straight into the glass cabinet. So there you go. So yep. how good is that? 